Carmelo Anthony should ask to, to be traded right now. He should ask to get the hell out of New York City. He has not been perfect. He has not been flawless. I know this. But at the same time, the kind of offensive prowess he has to his game definitely could help some team out, whether it be the Clippers, whether it be the Cleveland Cavaliers or somebody else. It's definitely something that he should strongly, strongly consider. The reality of the situation is clear. He's been hoodwinked by Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson sold him on, on, on a dream. He came to New York City, talked about being committed to building a championship contender, signed Carmelo Anthony to $122 million, then tanked the season. He hired a rookie coach in Derek Fisher who never coached a peewee team, let alone on anybody else and you made that man your head coach after you got rid of him you let Kurt Rambis coach the team after you denied Kurt Rambis the opportunity to go and get a job that was his um, in, in California okay then he stays there with you you hire Jeff Hornacek and now it appears as if you're undermining Jeff Hornacek because you've got Kurt Rambis manning the, the problem with what you're saying is you know who sh else should ask out of New York Chris Stapps Porzingis should ask out of New York who's being used at the four instead of the five where he has overwhelming so advantages player. in your offense. That's right. Anyone with trade value, anyone who could who could be the a part, a big part of a championship team should ask out of this Knicks situation, which is clearly dysfunctional. The evidence, as you brought up, is Kurt Rambis. I saw this play out in L.A. before. Phil Jackson calls in Kurt Rambis. You go, uh oh, this ain't going well. Didn't work then with the Lakers, ain't going to work now with the Knicks. This team should be running through Porzingis, whose upside is uncertain right now, but at least seems very high, who's still getting better, who needs to be developed the way Carl Anthony Towns would be the focal point of an offense, the way Anthony Davis and then Carl Anthony Towns. He's seven foot three, who can face up and do all kinds of things. He, he's a mismatch for everyone Matt. in the league, and he's being used improperly. Oh, so. wasn't healthy. I said, as starters, we're fine, but Max, I'm holding out hope. I even acknowledge. I was emotional. I said he's put no bitch around them, and he's dependent on three dudes whose health is compromised. Yep. This Guys, is a Phil a Jackson issue. This will be ongoing all year, I'm sure. Yep, and we know the next is person. <laughs> yo, yo, YouTube, what's crack a lack of jack a and it's Waffle Man for video. And should Carmelo Anthony be traded? Hell no, man. Like, I, I, I all the say the, the naysayers and the, the positive sayers say, man. There's no way to, first of all, there's no way to trade him to. I mean, he has a contract that's still lasting for a couple of years. I think he has like, what, two more years left? This season and then next season. And second of all, this season just started, man. Like I said before, man, everyone needs to relax. The Knicks beat the Nets, of course, and we lost to the Jazz. Uh, but we had some winnable games, man. I mean, the Jazz game was definitely a winnable game. We had a good lead in the first half. The Pistons game was, was, a, was a close game until late in the third quarter. Uh, but this team is just coming together. And, you know, we got to give it some time, man. I mean, we, to, to really see how this team is going to play for the entire season, we need, like, a good 25 games. We got to be at least 25 games into the season. Because right now we're 3-4 and four, we face the Boston Celtics in, in a couple hours. So this team is just getting started. And by the way, the Eastern Conference right now, only the top four, only the top four teams in the Eastern Conference are literally consistent, and that's the Cavaliers, that's the Hawks, that's the Raptors, and it's the Hornets right now. But the Hornets had an easy schedule, so we don't even know if they're going to be consistent for the rest of the way. So really, the Knicks, if they get a win tonight versus the Celtics, they're already back up to like what the sixth seed. If they win uh, uh, the game tomorrow versus the Raptors and tonight, they'll be five and four, which is right there near the fifth seed and the fourth seed so they're already at two wins and they're already back in, in the playoff picture so like don't like everyone relax man i mean we had some rough games but understand that it's going to take time and you know we're seeing time is being taken the next game was a slow start as well but we got better in that game and you see that like, I, I keep saying man it's it's always going to be about that bench play man really home and gorman needs to get minutes I mean, that's just because Minkus needs to get more minutes. And also, I, I, I like to see Ron Baker get more minutes. Uh, but yeah, man, let's get that lineup of Jennings because Minkus, uh, you know, Herman Gomez with Porzingis out there. That was a good lineup. You saw in the next game, that lineup was always it. And even in the preseason, that lineup was working because the pick and roll with Brandon Jennings and then Porzingis and then Cosminkus, or not Cosminkus, but Brandon Jennings and really Herman Gomez. Herman Gomez has some nice finishes at the rim. Cause Minkus is unselfish. He knows when to pass the ball. And he'll hustle for you. And that's the thing about the Knicks, man. The Knicks bench, they need to start hustling. That's why 
They got more minutes, and that's why I want to see Herman Gomez, Kazmikis, you know, all them players get more minutes because they deserve the minutes. And that's why you saw players like who? Carlo Quinn, he got benched, uh, I think, in the second half. And you didn't see him that much. Justin Harley got benched a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, man, more hustle from the bench, more hustle from the starters as well. Because the starters, the offense is always going to be there, man. Because the off offensively, this team has got it. We got Carmelo Anthony. You saw Carmelo Anthony get hot in that game. He shot six. He made sh six shots in a row. Pozingis did his thing. Derrick Rose was getting some nice finishes at the rim. The offense is going to be there. It's all about the defense. But like I said, it takes time to build the chemistry with the defense. So, we're just going to have to wait, man. 25 games in, if the Knicks are losing badly... And we have a losing record and we're not in the eighth seed or seventh seed or whatever. Then you could start to like be like, okay, this team might not be going anywhere. But listen, man, seven games into the season, seven games in the season, there should be no talk of any trade talk for the Knicks. And let's talk about Phil Jackson real quick, right? I'm not gonna give Phil Jackson a pass anymore. Because he has made some questionable decisions and He's not coaching. He's the president of the Knicks, of course. And, you know, I like the Porzingis draft pick. I like that pick. I like the Derrick Rose trade, of course. Uh, I like the, the signing Courtney Lee, Joe Kim Noah. I, I think those were good moves in getting Brandon Jennings. I thought they were all good moves because Minkus, some of the pieces are nice, man. But, you know, really, what the problem with Phil Jackson is really his ineptitude to allow the triangle to be let go. He, like, I, like, Honestly, I want to see what the Knicks can do without a triangle. And sometimes they don't even want a triangle. It looks like most of the time they don't want a triangle. And instead of having a triangle, maybe develop another offense so it actually works. Because, listen, man, they don't have to stick with the triangle. It's a new age over the NBA. A lot more three-pointers are being made. And, you know, Jeff Hornacek obviously wasn't winning the triangle back for the Phoenix Suns. And I, I think Jeff Hornacek... Could be a good coach for this team, man. Fast system. You already see the system's getting faster. Porzingis is shooting 45% from three, which I told you he would be shooting a higher percentage from three. And he will be taking more threes because of the high system of Jeff Hornacek. Not only that, he's getting more shot attempts this year. And he's averaging 19 points per game, all of which were my predictions in the summer. So, yeah, man, I was right. But, uh, listen... The triangle, I don't think we need it. And by the way, Je uh, Phil Jackson's got to let Jeff Hornacek say coach, man. I mean, you can't be on coaches, uh, you know, in practice, trying to teach the players something else that the coach is teaching. Like, no, man, Phil Jackson, you're not coaching. If you want a coach, you should have been a coach for this team. Otherwise, keep your ass in the bleachers. Keep your ass in the seats in Madison Square Garden. Stay away from the practices. Stay away from the coaching. Because, listen, man, as much as it's your team... It's really Jeff Hornacek's team. So let Jeff Hornacek do his thing, man. I trust Jeff Hornacek, man. I, love, I believe in him. And Kurt Rambis, him too. If he's trying to get some triangle elements, I understand the Knicks are, uh, you know, they're winning the triangle. But he also has to chill. Uh, just let Jeff Hornacek do his thing, man. And hopefully the defense comes together. I wish we had a defensive-minded uh, uh, defensive specialist on this team like Mike Woodson back in the day. But we don't. So defense is gonna come together, glue together. Hopefully, hopefully, Joakim Noah can teach the Knicks some better chemistry on teaching. But anyways, man, we're just getting started, man. It can only get better from this. I mean, I'm hoping, holding out. But uh, yeah, leave your thoughts in the comment section. I'm off for now. Peace.